play when you got tied up by Noah? Um, you know, I think it could have went either way. I, I thought I was fouled on there. I came out with a busted lip. But, you know, the rap didn't see it that way. Definitely a huge player of the game. Uh, when, we got, when we got the lead, all we I think all we have to do is just, uh, you know, get the ball, man, maybe in a better position where we can get fouled. Then, uh, you know, we wouldn't be talking about the loss tonight right now. Is there a sense, Paul, that you guys gave this, this one away? Definitely. I mean, I think... Uh, you know, we had the game in our hands uh, a couple times, and it just it just slipped through our fingers uh, both times. It's just little things. It just goes to show you that little things can prove costly in this league if you're not on point uh, throughout the whole game, and, and it bit us tonight. What do you think turned the game around for you guys, Paul? Because they were in you know, play with a little bit of a lead for the most part most of the night. Uh, I think we just played more aggression. Uh, we attacked the basket. I thought Ron did a good job pushing the ball most of the game, especially in the fourth quarter. Uh, we was able to uh, get some more some easy opportunities. Uh, Kevin got hot, and uh, I think that really changed the game. We rebounded the ball a lot better uh, than we have in the past against them, so uh, that allowed us to get in the game. But, uh, you know, we just didn't get the timely stops, you know, that we needed. Uh, you know, we either, where they either scored or, or – or they went to the free throw line to, to give us a chance to go up three or four points. Uh, we just didn't get that all night. Talk about the need to see Rondo see the need stepping up offensively. What's that? Talk about Rondo kind of seeing a need and stepping up a little bit offensively and being more assertive. Oh, it was good. You know, he was aggressive in transition. You know, they were. Uh, <sighs> They were. I think uh, that was a weakness of theirs. Uh, if we got the ball, coach said you could push it because uh, they are a big team. They like to go to the offensive rebounds, so uh, it's it's a must that he uses speed. And, and I thought he did a good job at, at doing that. When he got the ball, he got out on the break. He got to the basket. And I think it started to open things up for us the, the more and the more the game went on. Oh, it seems like 21 turnovers, but you only scored seven points after their 21 turnovers. Why do you think that was good? Well, we got to do a better job in transition. Uh, you know, I don't know if we're holding the ball, we're not making the right passes. Uh, it really doesn't make any sense when you when you, when you talk about turning them over, uh, whether it be a steal or uh, who knows, maybe some of those turnovers were, were forced to them to travel or go out of bounds. But you know the opportunities where we get the steals and have numbers in transition, we got to do a better go- job at converting those. Well, it seems like all we <clears throat> talk about Sully's toughness, the rebounding, but tonight again, uh, the job he did coming off the bench. How huge was that in terms of stabilizing? Down low. Yeah, he, he's he's great. You know, a lot of little things that he's picking up uh, throughout the year. Uh, you know, he's still getting better, and so uh, you know, Sully's gonna continue to work hard. Hopefully, we can do a better job of trying to keep him out of foul trouble. I think that's his one weakness right now. Uh, but you know, as far as everything else goes, he's playing phenomenal for us. Paul, do you consider Sully a rookie? Anyone? Uh, yeah, he's a rookie, definitely. 